All right, folks. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at this Iluns. It's the HA1 UV. It's a dual band handheld ham radio. It operates on two meters and 70 centimeters. This is my second video for this particular radio where we're showing different features and functions and doing different tests. Today, we're going to be doing a power test. So we have our radio connected to this adapter, which goes into this Nisei RS40 power meter. We have this set for 15 watt range, and then we have our function set to power. From the power meter, it goes into an MFJ dry dummy load. Before we get started, I did want to say that I was contacted by the folks at Redivis slash iLoons, and they asked if I would do a review on this radio, and of course I said yes because I like radios. That means they sent this to me free of charge in exchange for this video review. If you are the type of person who is triggered by sponsored content on YouTube, I suggest you go watch some cat videos. Okay, now that we're done with that, I tried to adjust the brightness of this screen and I couldn't figure it out, even though it was on the brightness setting. But I think that's because the brightness setting is actually a timeout timer for the display and how long it stays on. So I couldn't turn it down, but rest assured, we are on a 2 meter frequency, 146.520000. And right now we are set on the low power setting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to key it up and see what we see. And it's just over one watt on low. Now, what I did do is I consulted the manual. I keep this manual with me at all times. And it just referenced that this had three settings, low, medium, and high. And it did not tell you what the wattage or expected wattage output was on that. So what we're seeing on low is one watt. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this button. And then I'm going to get a menu where I can change this. And I just went down to medium or middle. And what we're going to do is we're going to key up again and see what we see. And we're seeing about two and a half watts on medium setting. Let's go back into our text power setting. And then we're going to go down one more to high. We're going to hit the menu button to accept those changes. And now we are on high power. And I key it up and it's just a smidge under five. Now it might actually be five watts and we're getting a little bit of loss through this thing. I doubt that that's really the case. So it's probably around 4.75 watts is our expected output. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the frequency to 432.1. And let's see if that took. And it did. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to test and we're already on high. So we're going to go high, medium and low. So let's go ahead and do that. Now when I key up, it's a little bit over five. So maybe it's like 5.25, 5.1, something like that. Let's go back and adjust our settings and go to the middle power setting. And I hit enter to accept that. And we key up and that is a little over four. So it looks like four and a quarter, four and a half. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press this again. And now we are going to go to low. We're going to accept that change. We're going to key up and it's right at one watt. That's really it. I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank iLoons slash Redivis for sending this to me for my consideration. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond. As always, thank you for watching.